All right, welcome back, guys, to the channel. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, if you're watching us on Sports Headlines or on Jackson Cooker Sports, please consider hitting up that uh, subscribe button and hitting a like on the video. And what other uh, videos did you guys like to see? Put that down in the comment section below. But this is a film breakdown on newly uh, signed free agent uh, Corey Lindsley to the Los Angeles Chargers per requested from somebody in the comments on one of our more recent videos. So thank you again. We really want your suggestions. But anyway, let's get into this film breakdown. All right. So this first play here is the Packers and the Rams. The divisional round game is 19-10. First play out of the half. And this is really just going to emphasize how good Corey Lindsley is when he gets to the second level, which is huge. So Corey Lindsley pausing to play here. Corey Lindsley is the center. If you guys don't know where the center lines up, this, he is right here, that guy. And on this play, his goal is to get up into the second level because he's going to be the main blocker for uh, Aaron Jones. And the guy he's that's in that range and in the area that he's going to have to block here is John Johnson the third, one of the better safeties in the league. He just got a, a nice uh, – he's got a contract with the Cleveland Browns as well. So, but anyway, this is the play. But, again, Corey Lindsley, he gets to the second level. And without Corey Lindsley – this is a this isn't a sixty yard run by Aaron Jones. This is maybe a five six yard run, um, which is still decent, obviously. But this is a sixty yard run out of the gate, out of halftime, which can really be demoralizing for a team. And again, Corey Lindsley, right here, lined up number sixty three, and the guy he's blocking primarily is right here, and. Aaron Jones is going to be a straight line shot, really, for Aaron Jones. And, be, and that's all because Corey Lindsley gets into the second level and Aaron Jones squeaks in between the gap. And that is a big run to start off to start off the uh, second half. All right, so this next play is in the divisional round this time. It's against the Rams. It's in the fourth quarter. The Rams are trying to mount a comeback here. And um, th this is one of the things about the Shanahan offense, the play action, and setting up these deep shots. And Corey Lindsley here stands his ground. And even though Alan Lazard gets off really, really quickly, and A-Rod has, you know, he doesn't have to let the route really develop all that much, Corey Lindsley holds his block. And we've seen a lot of times with bad centers Hello, Chargers, and I'll show you guys a couple of examples here in a second. But Corey Lindsley, again, lined up right here on the ball, and he is in charge of protecting Aaron Rodgers because if this guy, number 91, his, block, his uh, the man he's blocking right here, if he gets by... And he gets a straight shot at Aaron Rodgers or even creates pressure. Aaron Rodgers might have to rush that through. And you could be looking at a more dangerous situation where you have a solid, you have a really nice run to back, run blocker and a solid pass protector. Because then look, Aaron Jones, he gets out of the backfield. So if Corey Lindsley or really any of these guys lets up, and by the way, this is without David Bakhtiari. So if any of these guys, you know, let up their block. Aaron Rodgers, but specifically this guy right here, Corey Lindsley, if he lets up his block, that's a straight shot to Aaron Rodgers, and Aaron Rodgers is going to have to rush this throw. And you could be looking at a dangerous situation. We saw a lot of times last year Justin Herbert have to rush his throws, and some, it led to interceptions and completions at some point. Corey Lindsley is going to open up the, our Chargers offense. Uh, expect Austin Eckler to have a lot more uh, open running lanes. He he is going to have to create three yards when it should be tackled for a loss. Instead of it being four yards, uh, it's going to be six or seven yards because of the great offensive line play we're going to have at. All right, so this next play here is first and ten. Uh, second quarter against the Jaguars. They're down three nothing here, and it this is going to be a big time play here, but. 
This one is going to be man-to-man -man coverage. No safety high, so potentially a zero blitz, although I think it's this guy here. I forget which guy is. Really, this guy here, he starts at, after the snap. He works his way back towards this way because, obviously, Devontae Adams is uh, – over here, and you don't want to leave Devontae Adams on an island. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one. you want to leave any corner in the league, arguably, on an island with Devontae Adams. But what they see here is it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or eight, or whatever, eight guys in the box. So if you're Aaron Rodgers, you're Corey Lindsley, Corey Lindsley, who's matched up again, under snap, he's right here. Corey Lindsley, they have to sense, okay, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a blitz. And what they're running here, they're basically relying on their two receivers on the outside to beat their man deep. And that's what MBS does, Marte uh, Scantley does, about as Scantley does here. And Aaron Rodgers, he just throws this up to Scantley. But what Corey Lindsley does really well here, he Picks up the blitz and he adjusts and he grabs another guy to guard. And then obviously, MBS, he takes this one, he turns on the adjust. The ref gets murdered and goes all the way to the house. And this will be a pivotal point in the game. And you can see it better from this angle again. Lindsay, right there in the center. Well, with the oh, snap the ball to A Rod. And this is before the Bakhtiari injury, and they're sending the house. So, Lindsley, he thinks, or he thought rather, that, because you could tell, like, he's like, oh, okay, uh, well, where do I go? But Jack in 47, I think he's expecting him to blitz, so he's ready to pick them up. He's like, okay, you know what? All right, bet. Next, let's move on. And instead, what he does is he sees that his, that his uh, peer or whatever, his teammate, 62, and one of the things about football is you single-handedly rely on every single person to do their job. And when they don't, you have to make up for us in basketball or other sports. You know, one guy can dominate. But Corey Lindsley here, he sees, okay, Mike, I believe that's Lane Taylor, 62. Um, he gets beat, and Corey Lindsley really quickly picks him up because, again, similar to one of the uh, earlier plays, if – he gets to Aaron Rodgers. He's either got to rush this ball, it's not as accurate, or uh, he's going to get a sack here. And that would have been a pivotal point in the game. So Corey Lindsley picking up the picking up the blitz. I'm sorry, um, protecting Aaron Rodgers, and just really quick and great awareness by Corey Lindsley, knowing and not creating a holding penalty as well, which is pivotal because a lot you'll see a lot of centers in that situation hello chargers centers um a lot of centers in this situation would get a holding penalty uh from trying to protect their quarterback and Corey Lindsley does a great job of avoiding that and nbs turns on the jets and the ref gets murdered all right so last play here and this is really where Corey Lindsley is going to help for the chargers next year so this is uh first and 10 against the chiefs this is week 17 against the chiefs team with no uh, major starters playing. And Austin Eckler is just going to try to run the football and get to the outside here, but the center cannot hold the block Feeney. He can't really hold the block, and I'm really going to put this all on Dan Feeney, but he just can't hold the block here. I believe that's uh, – I can't – couldn't tell my number where that was, but uh, I think that's 99. He could – he just got by Feeney too easily, and that really – was, I mean, cause a disaster right here. You know, he couldn't really seal him off. Uh, 99, again, the name is escaping me right now. He has all the leverage. I would actually say the, uh, the rest of the offensive line and the blockers on this particular play are doing a pretty decent job here. But Feeney can't hold, on, hold up on the block. And, you know, it just goes all downhill from there. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that uh, Corey Lindsley going to have a big impact? Let me know down in the comment section below what videos you guys want to see next. Subscribe here on Jackson Cooper Sports and on Sports Headlines. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.